when I switched my audio channel over to, um, uh, what's it called? Not my audio channel. When I switched my audio from going from my TV to my, uh, earphones and I open OBS, it just doesn't work. So I have to, like, do a bunch of resetting. Get on VC, on Discord, do it. We're going to invade your stream. Uh, I'd rather not. That's just going to take up more bandwidth. I'm going to be surprised if I can even run the stream right right now, considering how the snow is affecting everything. We have to watch in 480, but I'll upscale it in the video. Re-upload. You're going to say racial slurs? That's not, that's not the problem. Hop on VC? I'd rather not. What is the problem then? It'd take up more Wi-Fi than I'd like. I'm already having Wi-Fi problems because of this snow in Texas screwing up everything. And also audio reasons. I have a minute, I'm not gonna be able to adjust everyone's audio and make it work right. We ain't gonna do any problems. One, I don't believe that. Two, you're kind of echoing too. God dang it. Why am I echoing? I don't know how to fix the echo. And we have only a minute until the direct. Well. Oh well. I couldn't tell you why I'm echoing. What do you mean you don't believe us? We are good boys. Eh. Something like that. I, I hope they announce Smash first thing. Man. I didn't really get to talk about predictions because I had so many problems. But. Oh, well, there we go. I was going to talk about who I think might come to Smash. Beauty COVID, blah, blah, blah. Okay. You're not echoing? Moron. Tell me if it's too loud, by the way. It probably is too loud. Let me turn it down. It was Hero's fault? Oh, are you guys on VC? Not actual gameplay footage. It's Xenoblade 2! Dude, Xenoblade 2 is finally coming out? One day. Pyra just disappeared. I know Zenyu is just like closing the stream right now. That man hates Xenoblade and I, I could not tell you why. It's Funny Man Z. as if she vanished off the face of all rest. Is this his new yeah. DLC? A trace? Where have you gone? I mean, I'll this is close you. enough to Xenoblade X. Whatever it takes. This is where you were. Pyra's in Smash? Pyra! Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. Wait, is this Rex and Pyra in Smash? I got an invitation to join Smash! <laughs> I'm fine with this! Oh, I thought I was gonna be in Smash! Just sit back and leave it to me, Rex. Oh, not Rex, just Pyra. I love it's awful in 480. That's genius! You're pretty much owning them! And these are seasoned fighters! There are no pushovers! Ah! 
I mean, hey, Rex is a me fighter, so I guess this is the best we're getting. Talk about a tight spot. Myth or two? Let me handle this. Yeah. If you have Pyro, you have to have Mithra. Mithra! Cutting it close, huh? Oh, hey, were these guys planning on nothing? Gee, I feel kind of bad now. Coming through! Lightning Buster! Who's on it? Ray is punishment! Throw it down! I mean, this is probably a bit more of a more unique idea than just Rex. Ah, uh, now I have to finish Xenoblade, don't I? Quite the spectacle, aren't they? Wait, grumps? Oh, I've missed this everybody. Mind if I watch a while? <laughs> oh, look, our friends are here. And there's a boy. You're all mine. I'll lend you a hand. So that's the stage. Yeah, I was about to say, does Pyra have Burning Sword then for her final smash? Shulk? I never expected to see you two again. Well, now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you! Ooh, fighting words. You forget. We're fighters too! I'm fine with this. Now I have to finish Xenoblade, but I'm fine with this. Oh, it's everyone. been a while since I've seen it's your been face. A while. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. Over 500 days. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. So, chat, what are we thinking? We appreciate Pyramid? your continued support. I'm gonna see a, another influx of okay. Pyra and Mithra fan art on my Twitter. What you was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, Pyra and Mithra. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look forward to seeing their moveset in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This fighter releases in March, so we hope you'll stay tuned just a bit longer. All right, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. The fall Guys for Switch? Also, I caught that March, but I had to talk to uh, my grandma real quick. Oh, that's right, we're probably gonna see Genshin for Switch too. Bro, I can finally try Fall Guys? Stumble toward greatness I'm when probably Fall not Guys gonna... Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system, Summer 2021. Summer 2020? This is hype? No, is it? You have 22 minutes before the solar system is destroyed. Oh, lovely. Venture into the vast reaches of space to uncover the secrets left behind by an ancient civilization. You have 22 minutes. After that, the sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. This is Pikmin 4. However, everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. Ah, so it's, uh... What do you call those games again? By repeating these cycles, you'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent Rogue the sun from exploding? Yes, that's the word. 
Why is the solar system trapped in an endless time loop? Find out when the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch, summer 2021. Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. Danganronpa? Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind, two deep cuts from Nintendo history, are coming to North America for the first time. Famicom Detective Club. Localized in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Suspense, drama, Genshin? and twists and turns await at every corner. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Yeah, Japan. somebody did say that they would in one game, you'll probably solve a expect Don and Rampa to surrounding Switch. a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. But that's not the only case to crack. In the other game, You'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. This Can is you figure very out anime who the looking. culprit is before it's too late? Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom Detective Club The Missing Heir and Famicom Detective Club The Girl Who Stands Behind. Coming to Japan? Nintendo Switch Gross. May 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. A new age of battles begins. Oh, it's Avatar! This is when the Fire Nation attacks, I know this. Nobunaga Oda? Is that what that said? Akechi! I saw a catchy, it's a good game. The latest entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch. Dive into the history of the Sengoku period as the series now shines the spotlight on More Nobunaga persona? Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. Unleash high octane moves in electrifying 1 versus 1000 battles. In Samurai Warriors 5. Slashing its way onto Nintendo Switch, summer 2021. Is that supposed to be like Dynasty Warriors? The vast world of Fadiel beckons. After 20 long years, Legend of Mana featuring remastered HD How's it already been 11 minutes of the Nintendo draft? Switch. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Before discovering the world map, is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. Hmm. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version, and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original soundtrack. Other features have been added, I feel like... including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, <laughs> as well as the new minigame, Ring Ring Land. Yes, the JRPG without Legend the encounters. Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Switch, June 24th. Ah, I forgot what I was going to say. Monster Hunter. Capcom, must be Monster Hunter. Monster 
wasn't gonna roll on Switch. You know, Thomas forced me to play the demo with him. Wasn't that bad, but I just don't. I don't know if I want to buy it. So my tea tastes very weird. Monster Hunter Rise content? I... It's gonna be Elder, about the new one. I have important news. So it's finally beginning. Go assemble the villagers. Oh, I know that voice. Ago, that was, uh... Village was attacked that was Chris. Avdol. And we suffered some devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? Our hunter's about to face the biggest challenge no, yet! No. Why, but it is Monster Hunter Rise. The uh, the guy. Inoa, we should start preparations right away. That that Chris voice. I don't know who, his it. name, obviously, but he looks like uh. We must stop. Oh Let's God, lie. dang it! Who did he look like? It was in my head. A Monster Hunter Switch. God, dang it! What was I gonna say? That was the latest trailer for Monster Hunter Rise from Capcom. How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Stay tuned for the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series, launching March 26th. Van Dam, that's it, from Xenoblade. Next, please take a look at this. I knew it! The fairway is open once again. It's Mario! Golf. Off in the latest installment of the Mario Golf series, coming to Nintendo Switch. Study the wind and terrain. Take your time to think things through. Then swing. Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters on courses filled with lush, natural scenery. Of all the sports games they could have brought back, they said, hey, let's bring back Use golf. Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. These features can help you ace your shots. They are trying their hardest to make this sound interesting, In but it's golf. Controls, you can also use motion controls Wahoo. by holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. So they bring back Mario the Golf to the Switch, but not the Wii. character swing in the game, letting you easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf, including this one, Speed Golf. Here, it's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time, then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole, then keep going. Outpace I mean, your opponents to come out on top. Your golfing skills are the only things I suppose it more fun than play. regular golf. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Oh, did we mention story mode? As a I thought this was a little town hero at first. Out as a rookie, that one sounds not boring. Yeah, but I don't know if that's worth a golf. With various mushroom kingdom the 60 characters. bucks. Level yeah, it's not as boring as golf can be. points earned during matches. Then allocate points to different stats, allowing you to develop your character. In story mode from Mario Golf, oh heck yeah, dude, this is worth it now. You can also use your me in versus play. Put your golfing skills to the test when Mario Golf Super Rush Aww. swings on Nintendo Switch. Did you just say put your golfing skills to the test? on Nintendo eShop after this presentation. She really just said put your skills to the test. The latest game in the Mario Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes, as well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy to learn controls. Gonna turn Thiago the Me into a Mushroom Please Golf Champion. Please look forward to this game on Nintendo Switch. So lads, we, we teamed up for Mario Golf. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. 
Oh, I was checking out these snap. games coming to Nintendo Switch. Is this where they like show off strikers for half a second? Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. Play as the Hyperion lackey Reese and the quick-witted con artist Fiona as you set out to recover a mountain of cash. Okay, but are we getting like Borderlands, Borderlands 1 and 2 on Switch? And three. This game includes all five episodes filled with classic Borderlands humor. Gangsters, and three, bandit lords, and vault hunters are just a handful of the obstacles you'll encounter three in thing. this choice-driven narrative adventure. Embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch, March 24th. 32 of Capcom's most beloved arcade classics are coming to oh, Nintendo yeah, Switch. Dude. Rewind gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety of display options to relive that sweet arcade goodness. Get 1943 The Battle of Midway for free, then purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Local co-op play is also available. Scratch that nostalgic itch when Capcom Arcade Stadium launches later today. Co-op play but not, not Wi-Fi play? Brains. As a zombie, you just can't get enough of it. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans into your undead allies. Replenish your bodily arsenal of sputum head, gut grenades, and more during your grisly mission. Why does this, this look like a PS2 ain't no match port? For a dead man. Stubbs the zombie and Rebel Without a Pulse eats its way onto Nintendo Switch March 16. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. It's Travis Touchdown versus Assassins. Wait, aliens? No more heroes? Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up, is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament. To I forgot no more heroes is on Switch. As the crass, beam katana wielding assassin Travis Touchdown, you'll need to fight your way to the top to save the world. Hey, 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 not so fast. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay off the entry fee. You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. Study their tactics carefully to get up for hand combat. God, I gotta get into the No More Heroes series. Glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. The fate of the world is at stake. So get ready to kick some, uh, whatever aliens have that you can kick. Alright chat, what are anyway, we feeling? No More Heroes after Yakuza? No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or, you know, Nintendo Switch. August 27th. Exterminate demons in he heaven. <laughs> As above, so below. Why do they need assassins in heaven? <laughs> to do someone's dirty work. I did wanted to say help. long if you can't rely on yourself oh visual novel heck yeah dude god's judgment has nothing to do with it is this an smg spinoff smg i don't know about that it's not even made by atlas Uncover Heaven's Mysteries in Neon White, coming to Nintendo Switch, Winter 2021. Looks like it. Speaking of, SMT 5-1. The DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. Oh god, I've been looking forward to this. Hi everyone, my name's Barbara Gordon. AKA Batgirl. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and backup. This is Supergirl. She's super strong and has heat vision, plus super breath. And let's not forget Wonder Woman, an Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Oh, is that Along robot from with Persona our 4? Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep I our very highly safe. doubt it, Thiago. But we're not just about the super life. We also have our school lives. And I'm going to stop with the Persona now. There's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, and maybe take some photos to share on Superstar Post while we're at it. 
Hey, hey, I got a comment already. Nice. Dude, this is looking like game of 2021. Sweet justice later. Uh oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming. But when justice calls, this is literally the game you wanted on Switch, dude. I've been waiting so long for this. Just gotta make sure no one figures out our secret identity. After seeing the rumors, like, oh, I can't wait. DC Superhero Girls Team Power. All right, chat. I know what we're doing on June 4th. June 4th. Ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. Juice cannons. Is this place with zombies? It is. Oh, this music thing. It reminds me of Fortnite. Stop. This just looks like Fortnite, but made by EA. Oh, it's Overwatch, actually. That healing effect was literally just mercy. But the art style is Fortnite. No, this is... That was literally just Fortnite. Who will join you in your adventure? Hint, anyone can. Band together on a quest to face oh, evil and Mitopia. save faces. Metopia is coming to Nintendo Switch. Epic. Cast me characters in various roles across the kingdom. Turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Stan. Makeup has been added as a new feature in this game. Glam up your Mies and get them ready for adventure. There's also a new wig feature, letting you go wild with your me creations and make them even more fabulous. In the world of Metopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. Social link? This can give you an advantage during battle. I'm sorry, I said I would stop with the persona. If your relationship sour though, things might take a turn for the worse. Whoa! You can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty barn good! Care for it, and it'll lend a hand, or poof, in battle. Bro, all that attack you have to shut out. your faces in the lighthearted romp, Metopia. Coming to Nintendo Switch, May 21st. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Super Mario themed yep. items are coming to your island. Here's the Animal Crossing news. Is expected. Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Familiar items <laughs> like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in game as furniture items. So place them however and wherever you'd like. You can, can you also get crushed? place two warp pipes. Can you get crushed in Animal Crossing? Can you die? I have to play Animal Crossing again now, then don't use I? Use them to travel between locations on your island. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? No, I think I won't. A free update for the game launches February 25th. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Oh, that's it? Oh, well, I have plenty of I have plenty of bells. Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. I have not gone to my island in months. How was that? These collaboration items will be released as part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Yeah, thanks for that, which, Diego. Last week, we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World Plus Bowser's Fury game. 
I heard Bowser's Fury was really good. I enjoyed that Mario adventure as well. Next, we have another game to show you. I haven't. To reach their own convictions. Those who value virtuous morality. Those who respect the liberty of all. Those who pursue pragmatic utility. Ace Attorney? I wish. Actually, we are getting Ace Attorney on Switch soon. It's like a... A spin-off Ace Attorney. He leaves us no recourse! Swords! Never. S -Frost will oh look, more JRPGs. Today. Are these the wages of loyalty? Actually, this looks like, uh, Octopath. And burnt corpses. You and no other must decide how we proceed. You are a leader, and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these fields, today you burn! I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely, every last one of us. Project Triangle Strategy. Far, far away lies the continent of Norzilia, comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt Sounds and like iron. The constant feuds among the nations three over these precious resources eventually ignited into a great conflict known as the Salt Iron War. Though the hostilities ceased with an uneasy truce, decades later the flames of the most anticlimactic game you've ever heard. Once again, you are all that remains. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plots and conspiracies, a brave group from Glenbrook fights to save their kingdom from the Hugh powers Ed. that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say? Ah! In this new tactical RPG, battles take place on terrain with different elevations. A character's attack range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. The range can be extended by attacking it is from fire higher emblem. ground with long-range weapons such as bows and arrows. Thus, your forces can use the terrain and other elements to gain the upper hand. An enemy outflanked is susceptible not only to your initial attack, but also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? Charge into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack. We win. Link attacks together by first casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain. Then electrify the area with lightning magic. Should it be the other way around? Put fire on ice to melt it. It is of the utmost importance to serve. I mean, I guess either way works, but before taking action, it just sounds weird doing it that way. Throughout the story, you will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of situations. Utility. Morality, liberty. Collectively, your decisions will establish your conviction, affecting how the story unfolds and who will join your cause. Once more, I would ask you plainly do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. Use information you've gathered to sway allies toward your favored cause. Dude, the character portraits are in diamonds, just like three houses as well. The story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced! As more and more critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down paths divergent from those of other players. You will see what true might is! Project Triangle Strategy, it's a, working title. a brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix, will launch in 2022. Please be on the lookout for more information in the future. So, After this presentation, it's Final Fantasy, a demo then. version a demo? of this game will be available to download on Nintendo eShop. I mean, and in the future, we'll conduct a survey to gather why not? player feedback. We look forward to hearing your response. I still need to finish the Dragon Quest XI demo. demo. Please look forward to future updates on this brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix. 
Okay, let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Let's do. Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? Monster Hunter again? No, it's Star Wars. Star Wars Hunters is a competitive, free-to-play online game set between Episodes 6 and 7. Clash in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo <sighs> Switch in 2021. Is this Star Wars Fortnite? Alright, let's do this. Is this Fortnite? Do I look at you or the camera? Knockout City Interviews, take one. We all play for different reasons. It's Fortnite. Gorgon love battle. Gorgon used many weapons. Triple-bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades soul-devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. My line of work? Bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once, just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> Look, it's simple. Corgan want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch bullets. Well, it should have looked like Fortnite because of the the way they structured not structured the uh, the graphics with the nameplate. I feel like I've seen this before. Okay, team. They may have won the battle, but not the war. Uh, uh, hey, can we redesign our characters? Not a team if you're not wearing a uniform. Max, this is a war zone, not a bloody fashion show. Pass to me. Uh, what? Interview's over. Oh, come on, man. One more game. Knockout City. Why does that sound so familiar? The fight for survival starts now. This is a very Pokemon art style. Hang on tight, because you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. From the creators of the Danganronpa and Zero Escape series comes a fight for your life. I love Literally, Danganronpa. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the 12 of you, known as the Go-Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. I don't want to die yet! Sorry to scare you all, but... The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. I'm the one behind the whole game of fate! As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in World's End Club. Venturing onto Nintendo Switch, May 28th. Izanagi? Keeping it to myself. Wield the powers of Olympus with the physical release of Hades. I was about to say, isn't Hades already Hades, on Switch? The critically acclaimed dungeon crawler and recipient of multiple Game of the Year awards is getting a physical release on Nintendo Switch. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey out of the underworld. The first is a PC download code for the Hades original soundtrack. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood pumping music composed by Darren Korb, known for his work on previous supergiant titles like Transistor and Bastion. The second is a 32 page full color character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters, all by supergiant's art director, Gen Z. And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. Escape the underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. I think I'll pass. 
three deadly action games, one masterful collection. Ninja, Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden Sigma. Okay. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. And Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action-packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. They're probably you saving Breath of the Wild 2 for last. I feel Fighting like against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. They said Ninja Gaiden 3 games. Weapons, each offering a playstyle with a different set of lethal skills, along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. <laughs> Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. Wow, DPP remake. I feel like you're saving any Pokemon related stuff for Pokemon your Day. To your destiny. A separate All previous presentation later. Content, including costumes and game modes are included. This Pokemon Day is like next week or something, yeah? The intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection slices its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. Ooh. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Here's our Zelda news, guys. Expansion pass. I really wish I could care about Breath of the Wild. There's even more coming to Nintendo Switch. Bravely Default 2 is almost here. Four Heroes of Light will soon embark on a journey to restore the Didn't crystals. they announce that like two years ago? Use the job system to develop your characters like, and master the brave and default commands to I feel like it was like during that direct with Isabel. Veterans and newcomers to For the Smash. series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. Well, that was actually way the long ago. The latest installment in the legendary Ghosts and Goblins series comes to life. As the brave knight Arthur, you'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle monsters across challenging stages within the demon realm. Local co-op play is also available for the first time. Help Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters. Barry for defense, Carry for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Eight protagonists, eight captivating journeys. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel More square a RPGs. Sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus, Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Apex Legends is storming onto the Nintendo oh, Switch system. Great. This free-to-play battle royale features a growing roster of powerful contenders named Legends, strategic combat, cross-platform play, and more. All players on Nintendo Switch can get an all-new Legendary Pathfinder skin, and 30 free That's levels. What Square does? Yeah, I know. That's like the third packs. or fourth announcement from Plus, Square. For the first two weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. How's it going so far? There's still a little bit more to show you in today's Nintendo Direct, so we hope you'll stick with us. Next, I'm still please here. take a look at this. What is this? Are you going to talk about Persona 5 Scramble? No, this is the Hello Zelda there. guy. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. Show us I'm Breath sure of the Wild 2. saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. So, I'm guessing that's enough. Unfortunately, a no. we don't have anything to share right now. Ah, okay. We apologize. <laughs> Development is proceeding smoothly and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. Please For let now, that be good. We'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. Is that all you came to tell us? While you're all waiting, however, 
This Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, please be Ocarina please of Time. Or Wind Waker or Twilight Princess. It's Wind Waker. Wait, no, it's Skyward Sword! Oh, it has not been dealt with at all. I never played Skyward Sword, so I'm fine with this. This is a good move, it is a good move. HD? That did not look HD, that looked like a Wii port. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and God. now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. Don't make me feel old. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. What if you don't have Joy-Cons? The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. Oh, thank you. After mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Fair enough. Wait, then how do you turn the camera? <laughs> Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. To swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally, just tilt the stick in the respective direction. This is going to be a very weird control scheme. Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. Those look nice. The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian Shield motif. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii, and those playing it for the first time, will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. July the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD sure. launches July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and God it was still bless. following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, using it's the really sailcloth been 10 years to descend since the last in normal a stamina Zelda gauge game. that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran. Even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear, I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Well, what did you think? The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. Please take a look at this. Alright, what do you got for me? Pokemon? No? Splatoon! Yeah?
this isn't like Splatoon 3, is it? There's no way. This is like a Splatoon spinoff. Definitely new Splatoon. Hey, Rarty, by the way. Splatoon RPG? It's Splatoon something, and I'm down for it. I am down for it, whatever it is. They're really holding in the suspense, inkling and overwatch. I'm down for this remix! Now I have to save up for Splatoon 3! Twenty twenty two. That's plenty of time for me to save up. I did not think we would be getting a third game. What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. And we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Good Direct? I'm happy with it. Pyra and Mithra and Smash? Sure. Splatoon 3? Actually hype! I'm gonna end the recording now.